What a great uplifting topic to end this yeah. podcast. I keep talking about something. I've got Aquarius in a wine glass. <laughs> Nobody's ever done that before. Wow. <laughs> the five weirdest things to do in Japan. <laughs> what? <Whoa. Number one. laughs> Aquarius in a wine glass. <laughs> That's how the Japanese yeah, do it. you were drinking Pokari sweat, Chris. What is I this? Know. That was you betrayed them. That was your vending machine My, downstairs. The only real problem I have with the TikToks covering Japan mm. is they're just flat out spreading wrong takes about some of the food establishments. They'll be like, don't go to McDonald's, go to Moss Burger, yada, yada, yada. It's like, yeah. it's like, well, no, Moss Burger is just worse than McDonald's yeah. in Japan. It's just Also not. takes five times longer to come it's five out. times longer. The, the nuggets are the only thing that is slightly better because they use like better chicken, but everything else is worse. And there's- Onion like, rings are bomb. Yeah, the onion rings, oh yeah, the onion yeah. rings, rings too. But like, there's some other stuff as well where they were like, oh, if you're in Japan and you're on vacation, don't don't go to a restaurant, go to the family mart and order, get this microwave pasta. It's like, no. Don't come to the Japan and get microwave food. You yeah. have the good stuff. It's cheap. It's I think affordable. It's just the image of Japan is going to be one where everything's crazy and ridiculous. The shorts I see, it's always like really wacky or wild mm. shit. Yeah. Mm. Saw one that got pushed to me the other day with like a trillion views. And it's like, I went to Japan's teddy bear cafe. And there's like a fucking hole in the wall. And a, a paw comes out. And oh, like yeah, yeah. You. Aki made a video <laughs> on that place. Oh, for, oh. For, <laughs> part of the problem, Aki. <laughs> God damn it. There's more to Japan than bear poor teddy bear restaurants. <laughs> Probably. Well, I just feel like Japan as a country is just tailor-made for- Content like, creators. That's a online gold con- mine of content. Online content yeah. creators. I can't, you know. You know. I can't talk. I've done. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm brought in Japan. Exists. Oh, you're correct, Chris. You'll, you'll get a kick out of this. Yeah. Uh, one, one time, because because Kaho helps me get video ideas, mm. and, and mm-hmm. sometimes Kaho gives me some ideas that are like a bit a bit much. And uh, yeah. <laughs> one time I'm having a conversation with Kaho. She's like, "Hey, um, so I have this video idea," and I'm like, "All right, cool. What, what, what's it?" It's like, so you know, there's a lot of services for men out there, um, and I found one where it's for women. I was like, "Oh, okay, cool. Like what?" She's like, well, you know, there's a lot of services, services where men can get pleasured, but I found a place where uh, women will get pleasured. And I was like, okay, so how do I, what, what am I, what, what am I filming? She's like, well, it's a massage place, but at the end, the guy makes you come. And I was like, how, yeah. how do I film this? <laughs> and she's like, and I think the guy will let you join in if you want. I was like, I'm okay with not doing that. Yeah. And then, um, so I was like, oh, I'll pass. But uh, another guy- Oh wait, what, Kaho going to it is what you're saying, or you going to it and you using it as a service. So I would go there and film, and then apparently (laughs) the customer would be okay with letting whoever the presenter is do the thing. It's a Connor dog video waiting to happen. That's just, yeah, yeah. you're just a porn director. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the porn star. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it was, and then, so I, I said, I am i can't film that yeah. for obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh, but I appreciate the offer, Kao. And Kao's a great sport about it. She's very funny. I'm like, I'm like, Kao, tell me every idea. Let's just go, and I, you know, I'd rather you bring me the weird ideas and say no than not tell me. And yeah, like, oh. yeah, yeah. But uh, someone else did take up, take up on the offer and I had a chance to speak to him. He was like, yeah, it's a bit awkward just sat in the corner of a room commentating <laughs> while one got <laughs> finger blasted. <laughs> and then afterwards, afterwards she offered to let him do it. And he was like, I'm, I'm okay. And then apparently her husband was just okay with it or didn't really fully understand what was happening. Right. And I was like, but she was okay being on camera. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird. And I was like, all right. Very strange. Sounds like a brothel in disguise. What, that's half that, of Japan. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly <laughs> what that is, yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, uh, is. Japan has so many brothels that are just hidden in plain sight. Yep. They're just there. It's Any, insane. Uh, it's actually, like, I mean, even the fucking pub that we go to, you look across the road, there's like fucking flash and neon yeah. something. Like, fucking hand, soap land. Hand jobs, $10. Yeah. And it's like, and the bar and it comes out, oh, I'm a cheeky hand job. They're not even <laughs> inconspicuous about it. There's like 80,000 LEDs on that building. It's crazy. It's like the most <laughs> well lit up place in Yokohama. <laughs> I haven't seen so many lights anywhere. It's, yeah. it's just like, and it's in English. They got English menu, arimasu. Like, <laughs> Well, I don't think any content I'll be making on top of that. Yeah, no, that's, that's hard. Except I've got to make Chicken Fugante. Just you get kicked out of that. Oh, you know how many yeah. fucking times we're like, what have you made Yeah, when is that happening? When yeah, is Taking Fugante right, right, happening? Right, okay. oh, when, uh, when I'm ready. We... I'm ready to strap me to you to the bottom of a plane, launch it into a volcano. <laughs> when are what? we skydiving? When are we skydiving? We did, yeah, we did yeah, bungee jumping. All right, do you want to skydive? No, no, no. Okay, I'll do Take Fugante. I couldn't get him to go on a fucking children's zip line. He's not getting- Children's what? Children's zip line? I couldn't get you on a children's zip Line, I had to fight for my Ooh. life to convince you. I, that was a big gorge. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, never, I know, I've done a zip line, I've never been afraid, but they're looking down 200 meters. Oh, yeah, I was like, this was... snaps. It's, it's a quick game over. <laughs> yeah, GG's. But like, that was my... rather than make take actually make Take of a Guide, I thought it would be really funny to make like a trailer for Take of a Guide. 
Okay. And then you can have like all these action packed moments where it's just like, you know, you're walking home from trash taste, then yeah. you get like kidnapped and waterboarded or something. <laughs> It's a fantasy I have. So you want to? You just want to? It's, it's gone from like fucking bungee jumping for to like just like torture. Yeah, I just want to make a snuff <laughs> film with you. <laughs> just, just like have a. Can we get Joey in as a, like a an actor for me? So yeah, like yeah. a body double, I'll, so I yeah. don't have to get water. No, I'll be myself. the one pouring the water on you. I'm like, talk, damn it! <laughs> Say you want to do this show. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I thought it'd be like a funny Mission Impossible style trailer esque. Oh, I see movie, right? <laughs> and you could have like a really funny three minute trailer with these cool moments, right? Chris's new obsession sure. is trailers, I think. Yeah. Yes, I do. I, 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 know, I, I know you want to get made content about all of the films that you feel or you have just watched. Well, Indiana <laughs> Jones. Yeah, I've Indiana Gaunt, Jones. Gone de aged. Yeah. <laughs> literally, uh, literally just the same. Just one of those Japanese we spent ten yeah. million dollars. The Asian girl. The trailer yeah, just randomly. The there's like a flashback of just twelve year old girl. <laughs> like, it makes no sense in the story. It's like I just wanted to show off this cool tech. I mean, if I was gonna de age girl, just, yeah. just have a shave. Probably shouldn't watch like, Oppenheimer then. Should <laughs> <you? laughs> <laughs> Fuck sake. Well, I, I, I want to do that. I wanted to do it for like April Fools. All right. Um, I was gonna make a. Uh, like a Netflix cri- true crime thing about trash taste called, I think I told you last time, Bitter Taste. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, taste. yeah. I was gonna be like, they invited me on trips, but then Scottish they stopped. Yeah, or you got a what? You have a friendly Scottish character now in it who's really well acted. Really angry. <laughs> For sure, sure. Just because it's great. But that's yeah. my goal. Take I mean, yeah, on. let's do it. Hit me up, oh. yo, you're in Tokyo now. Huh? No, I'm in Tokyo. I have a question. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> you, when we were on the cycle, you every single day you'd be like, I can't wait to play Resident Evil Four Remake, and you every day you'd be like, I've heard it. Everyone's saying it's the best thing ever made. Uh, did you play it? I played it for half an hour at Pete's. <laughs> then I had to go. <laughs> and he, and you he got really angry. So Could yes, like thirty minutes? minutes. It was good. Yeah, graphically great. A lot of effort though, isn't it? <laughs> It was like, find the key. I was like, oh, fuck it now. I just want to shoot some zombies. I was like, I was like, I've never seen you talk about a game and you're being excited for it. And it I like strategy rare. games where I can sit there with a like a pie and just sort of <laughs> <laughs> move like, oh, I have the tank over there. You basically mean chess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like where I could sit slowly, digest a pile of food and then like have Camel everyone, bear. have all the soldiers die. Age like, of Empires. Yeah. yeah. Come on, civilization, 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 anything like that. Right. There isn't evil. I don't, you like sending good. people to your to their death, basically. It's like, it's like go me. on while oh, I eat, go on, me. men, while I eat my camembert. I'm surprised you haven't brought up the fact I listened to Joseph Stalin. Yeah, you did. So we were on the cycle and uh, Wait, it was what? very tough. And Chris, for the first two days, was very like, hey guys, what's up? And then, <laughs> and then I think it got so difficult. It was very tough. It was so much harder than Hokkaido. Yeah, and there was a lot of rain. And there was a lot of rain. It was miserable. And then after the, we had the, the third and fourth days were just hell. And then after that, Chris, Chris was like a hikikomori on his style and audio books. It was like, it was like, we didn't hear from Chris for the next four days. He would just cycle. And then occasionally, apparently, because his phone was connected to the car. <laughs> When he would cycle closely to the car, the Stalin audiobook would start playing in the car. <laughs> and it would be like, he would like be on Pete's steam meal. He'd be like, oh, what's well, so guys, we're gonna go. And he'd be like, Stalin murdered 15,000 people because they dropped his handkerchief on the floor. And it was just like, what is he doing? What is he, what is motivating this man to cycle? What is this reason? I, I was listening to Star- Stalin's toils and ups and downs, I thought. Why? Why was Why? that? I to listen to you on the cycle. Because like, for most of his life, Stalin was like living in camps. Well, What made you want to listen to all of this on the cycle pod? I, I, know, I, th- I thought he's had a rough rough time. Well, I'm making stuff <laughs> sound nice. <laughs> he's had a rough time. <laughs> he had a rough time. Yeah. Before he became the, the, lead, the undisputed fucking paramount leader of Russia, he was in like prison camps in Siberia for 20 years. All right. And I was Sorry. listening to that thinking, if he could do that, I can get through today's cycle. <laughs> That's like my thought process. <laughs> but then it just got really bleak because by the second half of the book, he, when he becomes powerful, he's just like, if his friend says something he doesn't like, he's like, yeah, I've been killed. And it's just like, <laughs> yeah. just hasn't killed. And it's like, Stalin killed his friend, David. And like every, every fucking page, one of his friends is just being sent off to a concentration camp or whatever. Jesus Christ. I'm just like, this isn't, this isn't fun, but it's still more fun than this fucking cycle. <laughs> You didn't like it? it? The weather was bad. The weather was really The terrain bad. was brutal. Like the mm. Hokkaido cycle. If you ever want to cycle for a week, do Hokkaido. Like, mm. That's great. Yeah. Beautiful city. It was tough. We had like the scenery one hill. was stunning. We did have like- the- I remember we made, we made such a big fuss <laughs> about did. this hill in Hokkaido. And it, to be fair, it was tough. It was, like, to it was like a 300 meter incline. Mm. And then in Kyushu, we regularly had four or 500 meters and we had a 700 one day. And, it, and it, when you check back the video, 
of this one hill that never ends. It's like a, we were walking for 40 minutes on a vertical hill, basically. I remember, yeah. I remember mm. that hill so distinctly because it just never ended. Mm. And that was pain. That was true suffering. <laughs> But not as bad as Stalin and his people. Well, yeah, not as bad as what Stalin did. No. Um, well, that, that was why I listened to that, I think. I needed to get through it. <laughs> to, to, that was your mind. I need to take my mind somewhere. I don't know what to listen to. What would you listen to, Garn? Not a listen. fucking uh, Stalin not audio not a fucking text-to-speech, <laughs> losing my mind. <laughs> I, just, I just needed something. I need some, I don't know. I, I, had, I, had, I had a playlist of uh, <laughs> songs I would listen to before I... Got, mm. Like I went on stage just to hype me up. Yeah. Like mm. a lot of like Carpenter Brute just to be like, let's just get the adrenaline running, yeah, yeah. you know? I, I started every day cycle with listening to music. The one song I always use was uh, Boogie Wonderland by Earth, Wind and Fire. <laughs> it's like, dun, 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 dun. It does hype you <laughs> up. It does hype you up. That is the start Boogie of a great Wonderland. day. And I'm like, yeah, yeah it's so happy now. And then yeah, I- there's a buffer in there. He did not interact with Chris for the first two hours of the morning <laughs> until he's fully woken up. I need the whole Earth, Wind and Fire album <laughs> yeah, to yeah, get yeah. through the fucking cycle. <laughs> Boogie Wonderland a, is the song. Boogie Wonderland is a good track, yeah. It was a tough cycle. It was a tough one. I think we'll definitely change some things for the next one. Yeah, like E-bikes. E bike, yeah, a, <laughs> a motorbike. Just, just get a moped. Just get a moped. Yeah, yeah moped. Kind of fucked because like we picked a time where it should have, where it like didn't rain much, and it was just we just got fucked by some weird rainstorm that come from the south. It was, it was horrific. Mm. It was horrible that one day because you're hot and sweating like this temperature now, but you've got rain mixing with the sweat, so you feel yeah. like you're drowning, especially when you got your gear on, you're mm. cycling. Yeah. Third day, you have to really yeah. go to a. Very special place to get through that. You have to take your only mind Stalin can get. I Navy SEAL people uh, donating me like, ah, oh, yes, this reminds me of my Navy Navy SEAL training. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm just trying to cycle. He's like, yeah, it feels awful, but you have to just keep going. And I was like, oh my god. You know what got me through a Stalin audio <laughs> Shit, because there's no part of your body that's comfortable. In mm. that. It was like, it was like you know, because when it drizzles, and you fell off twice. I fell off twice as well. That was just miserable. And that looked painful. Yeah, my my leg was all. And fucked I had to up cheer you up one day. And well, that was like, the day, yeah. Chris is so nice, he's cheering Connor up. Because I was miserable. He I, like, just, I just wanted to stop. Yeah, you were like, you looked like you were going to stop or just implode. Well, because mm. like, I think any sane person doing that who wasn't on camera would just call it a day there. And I think yeah. any sane person just wouldn't, you'd see that level of rain and you'd be like, no, well, <laughs> we're not doing this. Yeah. Because it was the kind of rain where, you know, if it drizzles or it rains normally, you, you get a little bit wet, maybe your hair gets wet, your clothes get a little bit damp. But your shoes aren't like waterlogged, mm. and, mm -hmm. and you're not like soaked, and because you you know you're moving and it's it's constantly like that. But that, that was the kind of rain where I just I remember I remember this so distinctly. There was this bridge that we started. Do you remember this bridge? Mm, mm, mm. It's a really long bridge, about a kilometer long. And I remember we started because it's the start of the br bridge. Is the start, and by the end of this bridge, I was completely soaked. My feet actually, yeah. were soaked. They were fully like waterlogged. Yeah, you get your, every you know, that's single, the worst thing. The, your, yeah. your every feet wet, single right? part of the body was soaked. <laughs> your it was 10 minutes in, it was already like your feet's in the river Thames. And then right? your 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 glasses, your, you can't fucking see anything because you're, you know, you got water on your glasses mm. or it's just like everything's miserable. And then the worst part, I don't know if you if you remember this, but I, I got really cold. I started getting really, really cold uh, towards mm. the end of the day and to the point where I was like shivering for like the past two hours. And mm. I was like, I don't know what to do. Because I can't get warm. Because mm -hmm. to get warm, I need to dry. Mm -hmm. And then what's the point drying when I'm going to cycle? Did you cycle? threaten to piss yourself to get warm? I was, I was, I was actually this close away from pissing myself because I was so cold. Right. And I, I, it was, it was to the point where I thought I was cold. Where I was like, I think I would have bad health consequences if I was out for like another two hours. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And, and I think we had 20 kilometers left where I was really feeling faint. I was like, let's just do it. Let's just, just finish this. And I'm being in McDonald's. I thought you meant let's just piss yourself. <laughs> I was, I, honestly. I'm sorry. I, 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 was, I, was, I, was, I was desperate. Cause I was like, I got to do something. And I remember being in the McDonald's afterwards, just depressed. Cause I was so, I was still obviously even when you, when you've been cold for like a few hours. Yeah. Uh, even if you change clothes and get warm, it's kind of weird. Your body doesn't quite heat up. As fast yeah, you're like kind of cold mm, to the bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it was kind of weird because I was just in this McDonald's feeling like shit, and then I was just, but Chris was full of joy because Chris. Had, I oh, was to, I? I remember. I remember the, the menu came out, and you were like, "Well, it was a good day. It wasn't that bad that day." And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I just felt like shit because we were also at McDonald's, and, and you got the wrong burger. And then they fucked up my order. And that, was, that, was, that, was, that, that was last day, but they also fucked up my order that day as well. It was not a good, not a good streak of McDonald's. I can't hear you, it's like a Christopher Nolan film. <laughs> <laughs> what is he saying? Yeah, I ordered on the fucking app. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a grueling one. I think we're gonna change a few things for the next one. But um, these are the moments that define the year. It's true, yeah, they that's are. true. Dying yeah. in a bike I'll never forget fucking chest boxing fucking or, cycle. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I, yeah I don't know. I'd, 
Suffering, suffering is what you remember a lot. Well, it's, it's still like type two fun, right? Type two fun. Yeah, it's fun where you fun. look back on. When you look back on fun it. in the moment, it's not. It's not fun in the moment. But then when you look back on it, you're like, what, that was yeah. fun. Who named it type two? I don't. Know. That's quite good. I like that. Type two. Because it's easy to look back Sounds on like something. Sounds like an affliction. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's, it's like, got type two fun. How often have you done something that you remember distinctly was shit, right? And then you look back on it and you're like, that was fun. You're like, no, 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 Connor, don't. Don't lull yourself into thinking that was fun. That yeah. was not fun. That was not fun. Your, the yeah. idea of it again was fun mm. and the highlights were fun, but it was shit. Yeah. I can just see you on your cycle, like next cycle fun. It's like, I'm having such type two fun right now. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. I mean, it was all worth it to see Pete on a bike for three five minutes. seconds. Yes. I can do it. I believe. <laughs> that was so good. He did well for the- He cycled one like 10 kilometers, oh, 10 kilometers, which is pretty good. 10, nice. 10 kilometers is less I didn't need to do. So I was very happy. <laughs> Yeah, life, just a bunch of memories. It is. Uh, yeah. The weeks where I'm just sat indoors doing the same shit, the ones you forget. It's when yeah. you get out and put yourself through hell that you mm -hmm. remember yeah. it, right? Uh, Absolutely.